It is the first of Thursday of the month. That means Knoxville Police Chief Paul Noel is joining us for our Ask the Chief segment. And we have several things we want to discuss, including the resignation of Brooklyn Belk, the former Deputy Chief of Professional Standards. Also, fireworks that were directed at some of the police officers on the force. Yeah, absolutely. Well, welcome so much, Chief. First, let's talk about the resignation of Brooklyn Belk. I know a lot of people have talked about that because she was on the job for such a short period of time. So when we hired her, we knew we wouldn't have her forever, and I really hoped it was going to be a lot longer than this. But, you know, she did a great job for us building a strong foundation. I've gained a lifelong friend with Brooklyn, and, and you know, I know I'll be personally collaborating with her. She's going to be a, a resource for us. And right now what we're really focused on is hiring the next person to be able to build, um, continue to build upon what we've already started. Yeah, speak more to that. What is this process? How does it look? So what we're going to do, we actually have ads posted on three nationwide sites and also with the Tennessee Bar Association. We're going to collect resumes and we're going to interview candidates and select the best person to continue in the same direction. Do you have a time frame in which you want that person in place at this point? You know, we're not going to rush it, but you know, I'd love to have somebody on the next couple months. And what would you say were some of the successes that she was able to accomplish in the first few months that you would hope to see continue? So the main thing has been building systems where they didn't exist before. So the, the way we handled internal complaints, you know, we had you know good people working on some of the challenges, but we didn't have systems. And she's built that framework that that's what we're going to continue on. So the next person coming in is going to finish that work and then help run a system and be able to enhance it. All right, let's um, switch gears and talk about July 4th. And, and first off, uh, as we mentioned, uh, at one point in the evening, some of your officers were targeted by people with fireworks. Number one, how are they? The, they're doing fine. That was actually a very scary moment for yes. us in the public um, on, on that night. So we responded to a traffic accident, which we believe was caused by people shooting fireworks at a vehicle. Mm -hmm. When the officers responded, they were actually attacked by people with fireworks. And that behavior is absolutely unacceptable. We're able to arrest several individuals, and that's behavior we're not going to tolerate. It's absolutely unsafe, especially, you know, targeting first responders who are just simply there to help people. Can you tell us a little bit more about the specifics? What type of fireworks were being used? Were the officers within their cruisers? Were they actually targeted in person? Were they outside of their cruisers when this happened? Both. They were inside and they were outside. And a lot of it was like those heavy style, like Roman candle uh -huh. type things that shoot like a, you know, shoot like an explosive. I mean, it was really a very, very dangerous situation for our officers. They had, um, you know, people from the, uh, who involved in that, that, that car crash that we had to get out of the area. I mean, really right. very, very dangerous. In our final seconds, how would you sum up July 4th? Was it um, relatively calm? for the city or a little busier than you expected? You know, other than that one incident, it was really a great event. We had great weather. We had, I was able to go to several, um, you know, events throughout the day. We had the, um, the festival on the 4th, mm -hmm. which was great. I mean, it was really, overall, it was a really great day. All right. Chief, as always, we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.